Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for visiting. In my last video, I pulled out several Valentine's Day cards and um, wanted to either inspire myself to create something either for Valentine's Day or kind of springy um, and also to inspire you as well. And this was one of the cards that I pulled out um, and shared with you. And this was the card that ended up ultimately inspiring me tonight for the projects that I created. So I thought I would go ahead and share them with you. And uh, let me go ahead and share the stamps that I used. And I should, um, will share some dies and paper as well. So I ended up using uh, several different sentiments. I used this Happy Spring one from Whippersnapper. I used It Is A Good Day To Have A Good Day, also from Whippersnapper. And then How Wonderful Life Is With You In My World. Love that one. And then I also used a couple of sentiments from this All Things With Love Cling Mount set. And this is also from Whippersnapper and it's still available on their website under the Cling Mount sets uh, category. And then I used um, one or two sentiments from this one, uh, which is the Sending Happy Thoughts Cling Mount set. As for dies, I used uh, this one here. This is an old, um, paper tray ink die. Um, it came out when they basically released this quilted tag die, which many of you probably either have or have seen um, used. And uh, so this was a quilting set as well. It had a coordinating stamp set that I don't have. And then this die actually comes with some coordinating uh, like flower dies or something that cut out some of the floral images in the die set, but or in the uh, stamp set. But I only have the die. Um, so then I also used... Um, this this is the quilting um t quilted tag die from paper tray ink so this is a really nice die to have if you don't have this one and uh, you can see it nests with the quilting dies really nicely i also used a couple of my dies from impression obsession uh, this is my pinwheel quilting block die and it comes with the scalloped edge as well so this is a fun die to use. And then I also used my nine patch die. This is also one of my dies from Impression Obsession. And I also used this die. Um, this one is slightly larger than all the others. Uh, this is a Gina Marie die uh, that I've had for a really long time. And um, I really love this quilt block style. So those are the dies that I used. Um, as for paper pads, I pulled out this bundled up paper pad from Crate Paper um, just to do some wintry uh, cards. So really cute designs in here, fun colors. And then I also used Garden Party. Uh, this is a Pebbles 6x6 paper pad um, that released in 2013, you know, just a day or two ago. <laughs> um, but one of uh, my favorites for spring. So um, those are the papers that I used. I also used various different colors of cardstock. I used some different ribbons and trims and some buttons, um, which you'll see uh, as I share the projects with you. So I did create a couple of tags. Um, here's one of them. So this is where I used that um, die from uh, Paper Tray Ink. And then I also used the quilting ta quilted tag die as well to, to create the tag and I die cut it twice so once out of pattern paper and once out of cream and then I adhered them back to back and uh, so isn't that fun that's some of the garden party paper same with the polka dots it's also from that garden party line and then this is just cream cardstock that I um, did a little bit of um, antiquing with um, distress ink probably in vintage photo or tea dye and then I created one more tag, and it is this one here, and it's, again, still using the Garden Party uh, paper pad. And there you can see I did the same thing. And so I just added a little bit of um, lace up here up at the top, um, a twine bow. Um, I used some buttons that Sam Poole had sent to me um, earlier this year. So thank you, Sam. I love those little um, colorful buttons that you sent to me. So... I think they turned out really cute. And then I made <laughs> um, a bunch of cards. <laughs> so once you start die cutting uh, the quilt block pieces um, so that you get different uh, papers to um, create your 
quilt blocks with, you usually die cut it as many times as you have pieces on your quilt block. So for this one, uh, for example, I die cut it four times because I wanted the um, sashing in between the quilt blocks to be different than the blocks themselves. So once you die cut it four times, then you can obviously create four different cards that are uh, different quilt blocks or quilt designs. So how wonderful life is with you in my world. There's the first one I created and you can see I used a couple different colors of cardstock for my bases. And I love the pinwheel design. Now you can see the green is the center there. And this one is super cute. It's got little bees on the larger blocks there. So I think those turned out really cute. Then I decided to do some um, with the um, bundled up paper and I used the nine patch block. And this time <laughs> I made one, two, three, four, five, six cards, <laughs> just uh, intermingling the different papers. And on some of them, I actually wasted paper because I wanted to die cut them specifically where a little image would um, show through in the square. And then some of them, I, you know, I couldn't be bothered with all of them, but this one, I actually was able to get a little image in each one of the squares. Cute. And oops, all of these are just blank on the inside. So I'll put something in there when I send them out, but I think they turned out so cute. Look at that little one there in the middle. And then here. So you see they are really quick and easy to make. I just used my Misty to line up my stamp on here um, that I so that I could stamp the um, sentiment several different times to get a really good impression. And then when I um, had the sentiment placed in my Misty, I was able to just to put just to put the next uh, card base in my Misty and stamp the next uh, card base. So it went really quick actually. I love this one with all these snowmen. I don't think I don't think it gets any happier than that snowman right there. <laughs> so in this one, I just kind of did an assortment there. So I think those turned out really fun. And um, nice thing about these two is they're flat. They're not going to be any extra postage to mail them, and uh, which is nice because sometimes my cards get a little expensive to mail. And then I made a whole bunch of them. Uh, of cards using that Gina Marie die. And this is the one that's a little bit larger. So it took up a little bit more room on my card. So I didn't add a scalloped border to the back. Um, but here are the different papers that I used. Oh, and I also used a paper pad that, um, that Sam had sent me as well. It was an Easter paper pad. Uh, let me go grab it. It's so cute. So here's the paper pad that Sam had sent me for Easter last this last year, so 2022. And uh, this is nothing that I've seen here in the U.S. because Sam lives overseas. So, but it's got chickens and bunnies, and it's got um, rose gold foiling. <laughs> really, really cute paper pad. And the cardstock is really nice and heavy. So I put that paper pad to use tonight, Sam. <laughs> So here is uh, one of the cards, Happy Spring. And I think this blue polka dot um, came from some other random pad that I had it on my table. So same with this dark blue, this one, the dark blue. Oh, I know, that's because I also used, <laughs> oh my goodness. I also used this paper from my mind's eye, the Splendor line. So that's where that dark blue came from. <clears throat> so I think that brings all the products I used to <laughs> the desk. So really, really fun quilt design. Then um, I started adding some larger pieces of trim So when I die cut it, I just made sure I was using three different colors. So I had um, the uh, sashings, one color, and then I had two different colors for the blocks. 
And this one, instead of using pattern paper for these pieces here, I just chose my cream card stock. I think that looks really pretty. And here I added a little bit of lace to the side. And uh, just a quick, quick little bow up here on some Dollar Tree cotton ribbon. So they're all just a little bit different. So what I did basically was cut a whole bunch of these and I separated them out into, I have a whole stack of little dishes here. Um, so I just separated out the pieces into their little piles and that way it was really quick and easy uh, to assemble them just as I sat here and enjoyed watching some YouTube videos. There's that one. And there's this one, more bunnies. And then the last one. So, I think making quilted themed cards like, like this, excuse me, quilted themed cards like this is really fun. That's like putting together pieces of puzzles. Um, and also, just to give you um, a suggestion because you are um, you know die cutting all these pieces and they're basically just puzzle pieces um, what I do is I cut a uh, white square of cardstock that's slightly smaller than the outside edge of my um, quilt block and I adhere that to the back side of the um, the frame piece and then all these little individual pieces are being glued on top of this white cardstock so for example this one is um, one of the pieces that I cut for uh, wherever those cards went. Where did they go? Here they are. This is one of the squares I cut for the back of this block here. So you can see it's just smaller than the outside of my frame. And so this piece of white cardstock is underneath um, all these pieces here. And then all of these pieces are glued onto this white cardstock. So it gives you a surface to gather all of your pieces and have something to adhere them to. So, and then you just take all those pieces and glue them to your card. So that's that. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you're inspired. If you have any of these um, quilt block style um, dies, um, pull them out. It's a really fun project and a nice relaxing way to spend an evening. So anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoy my projects and uh, happy new year. And on to 2023, shall we? I'm talk to you later. Bye.